Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to the Game Droid, welcome back to Agrarian Skies 2. Um, I completely forgot, I got the, um, this is this is a leftover from Agrarian Skies 1. Agrarian Skies 1 you had to build the um, watering can. I completely forgot I got the watering can from a quest, and uh, once filled in a pool of water I can actually do this. And this increases growth ticks dramatically, this is basically like um, free bone meal as long as you're standing here doing this. And there you go, there's a tree. So, oh, I can get silkworms from this now. So I can actually now um, grow trees and start growing crops quite quickly because I can now um, just basically water them into existence. Um, I haven't set up a crop area yet, but uh, I do plan to set up an area for crops soon. Um, I also moved, as you can probably tell, I moved my crucible. This is because um, the amount of lava, or how fast lava is generated, not the amount of lava, how fast lava is generated is based upon what is underneath the crucible, what is providing the heat. So I've moved the crucible over to sit on top of the lava, and that actually makes it make lava faster. That's it. That's the only reason I've done it, because it's, it's a quicker way of making lava. Um, I have otherwise uh, gotten some together a little bit of cobblestone, not a massive amount of cobblestone, a little bit of cobblestone, and I'll be uh, sort of focusing on completing the quests around uh, sort of starting off my um, metal production. Once I get a smeltery up, I'll be able to make glass, and I'll be able to make coloured glass because I'll be able, I'll, by then I'll have uh, flowers and plants to um, make dye and what I'll use the flowers and plants for and the dye for is I will make colored glass and I'll start making the sky crystals as well. So I now have my watering can which allows me to water trees and get um, gain access to uh, a much larger amount of uh, food and wood and, and plant life. It'd be really nice if I had access to some uh, ebony wood saplings, but I don't, alas. Alas, poor Yorick. I've also just been, um, while I've been waiting, putting a few more slabs on here, because this is going to be the bottom of the ship. It's going to be evenly spaced out, um, regardless of anything else that gets built. So I've just been putting around building this. I cooked some of my raw salmon, ate some apples, um, basically because I couldn't be bothered to fish. Yeah, when working on skyblocks, always look down before you move. <laughs> like if you can't see the floor you're about to stand on, if you're moving sideways or backwards, look first, because the number of skyblocks that just end because people haven't looked down is is absolutely insane. So I can mine this with a pickaxe, which gives my pickaxe experience and gives me. Uh, cobblestone, which is very useful and can be turned into stone and um, all sorts of other things. It can be turned into furnaces and um, trash cans, stone choppers, and so on and so forth. Um, but the other thing I can do is I can mine this using a hammer. Now the wooden hammer is one of the worst things to mine it with, so I'm actually going to throw my wooden hammer away, because my wooden hammer has outlived its usefulness. Bye bye. Um, instead, I want to make myself a stone hammer, because a stone hammer is almost ideal, almost, I will say almost ideal, because it is almost ideal, almost ideal for a basic cobble gen like this, because a stone hammer does this almost as fast as, so now you'll watch, tick, 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 tick. So it actually does it almost in perfect timing with the ticks of the lava gen. So this is actually, even if you upgrade to an iron hammer, you're not really going to get cobblestone any faster than this because it's limited by the ticks of the cobble gen. Um, and, sorry, gravel. Because uh, I'm doing it with a hammer, I get gravel. Um, gravel is used to get uh, metal. So you can sieve it for metal. You can sieve it for diamonds. You can sieve it for emeralds. Um, you can also use gravel uh, to make grout, and grout is the start of the tinker smeltery. Uh, I need gravel, I need clay, and I need sand. And surprisingly, I can get all three from my cobble gen, just using a hammer. So I get gravel by hammering it, I then get sand by hammering that, and I get dust by hammering that, and clay from the water. 
Now I can use a bucket um, once I get a little bit of clay. This is why I left the two barrels full of water. Because once I get a little bit of clay, I can make another clay bucket and I can put water into the barrels and then I can get unlimited clay. I could make a metal bucket, but that will take a little while for me to get the metal together. Instead, I can make a clay bucket and that will be much, much faster and much, much more efficient. Also, the gravel from the hammering uh, seems to jump into your inventory much more effectively than cobble. So it's better to get it straight as gravel if you want it for pretty much anything you can use gravel for than to get cobble. If, if it's a cobble recipe that can be replaced with gravel, like making lava, then it's better to get gravel because it seems to jump into your inventory and you lose it a lot less often. You, you get it um, 64 exactly. You get it um, much more reliably rather than losing some of it to the lava. So an example would be if I want to make lava. One, two, three, four. There we go. And that's ticking away much faster because of the oops, accident. I could put these on the bottom half of a block and that would stop spawning, but I don't like doing that. The only reason I turn them into slabs is so that I get more bang for my buck. Double the bang for my buck which allows me to build out quicker. And I always like things to be three wide if I can. There we go. So this is going to be me. I have my gravel, I have my watering can, I have my hammer and my pickaxe, and the gravel can go through this sieve to make metals. In this case I got a little bit of lapis. Um, but I'm not actually going to be doing that with the gravel for the start. For the start I'm going to be making clay, I'm going to be making grout, I'm going to be working on a smeltery. So that's the way things are going to go for now. I'm going to be looking at building a smeltery over on my um, pirate ship, again part of the engineering bay, um, and also thinking about kind of curving the pirate ship up. I think it will curve up quite slowly because I'm going to be looking at having like a grand galleon um, with the great base floor being the um, engineering bay. So once... great tree! Is that a big great tree or a little great tree? Or a... That's a decent sized large tree. This is why you just leave things growing. Um, so until sort of something exciting happens uh, which will... what's the next thing I have to do? I have to make precious dolls which requires emerald Trash can which requires cooked stone, I can do that quite soon. Auto miner, and the auto miner can become a cobble generator. It's perhaps the worst cobble generator in the world. <laughs> it's ridiculously slow and it takes charcoal to fuel it. To be honest, you're better off just skipping straight to the world interaction upgrades. Um, Netherrack, Nether Quest to go to the Nether. Um, I can start my farm so I can start analysing seeds, and also making a smeltery as a quest and I can go down the storage walls lines. There's some interesting storage, there's drawers, there's filing cabinets, there's uh, backpacks and then into the machinery line as well. So fishing, fisher is my sort of first machinery but to do that I need uh, plastic. Mob hunter, so I need sugar cane which I have the seeds for. Mystical blood, so into blood magic. Thaumaturgy, Thor, is that thaumaturgy? Yep, Thaumaturgy, so into um, Thaumcraft, and Botanical Engineering, so into Botania, and Bees and Trees, into Bees, Applied Engineering into Computers, and For the Hoarding, which is the um, sort of end quests where you have to get thousands of things. So that will be my next kind of target. So until then, I will see you guys next time.